You see, when Dewanga graduated from the university, he came back here to Africa. And shortly after that, his father passed away, and he became chief of the tribe. Must have found it dull after college. <laughs> well, that was some years ago. From all reports, the chief has done quite a bit for his people. We've got a couple hours. Let's wander around town for a while. Chief's messenger won't be here till 9 o'clock. Suits me, Alan. Those were the men and the chief's messengers to meet him at 9 o'clock tonight. Chief Dewana? Yes, Bawani. Chief, he sent me to tell you. Stay with him, Bert. I'm going after the killer. Right. You're in a hurry, mister. I was chasing a murderer. Did a native run around this corner? Murderer? Well, a native did run past here just ahead of you. But he went on into the compound. I don't think you'll ever be able to catch him now. Who was killed? One of Chief Dewonga's men. Is that right? Well, I'm sure sorry I got in your way. Anything I can help you with now? Well, thanks. I suppose we should report this to the police. I'll be glad to go with you. I've been trading and hunting around here for a long time. I know just about everybody in town. My name's Vigas. How are you? I'm Alan King. Uh, will you show me to the police station? I sure will. This way. Any idea why that man was killed? Well, only a guess. You see, Mr. Regis, my company, the Amaranian Development Company, has been trying to get a concession to prospect for uranium in Chief Duwanga's territory. The messenger was supposed to bring us the chief's answer. Maybe somebody didn't want us to get that concession. Well, I doubt that. Probably some native just paying off a grudge. Now it's up to the police now. Might as well go on about our business. You going out to the Loanga country right away? Yeah, we expect to. Our equipment won't be in for a day or two. It's coming in by truck. Of course, if we could rent a jeep someplace, we could drive out tomorrow and find out from the chief just how we stand. I'm driving out to Kurgan's trading post in the morning. That's only a few miles from the chief's village. I can take you men out and bring you back the next day. Why not? For sure our concession's been okay. We can go to work as soon as our stuff gets here. Well, thanks, Regis. We'll take you up on that. Good, I'll pick you up here at seven. Good night, man. Good night. Good night. Think you'll ever go back to the States? I hope to. I'd like to finish up back in Oklahoma where I started. It's a great state. It sure is, mister. Vicious? No, they don't. You never can tell when you might run into a mean one. Usually they don't bother you if you don't bother them. But you've got to really watch out far around here, the buffalo. And in the jungle, the leopards are bad. Be the ignition. I'll take a look.
Here it is, a broken rotor. Ah, now what? I'll have to walk back into town to get a new one. It's a long hike. Yeah, but you men will be all right. It's only a two or three hour walk from here to the village. Yeah. Which way? Straight ahead, about five miles. I don't see any road. The road winds around a lot. Your best bet is to cut straight through the jungle. All right. We'll try. I'll pick you up at the village as soon as I get going again. It'll probably be three or four days from now. We'll make on. Sure. We're going to have to shoot something for dinner tonight. Good luck, man. Thanks. See ya. What was that? A leopard. Riga said they were bad, didn't he? Yeah, and he also said it wouldn't be tough getting through this jungle. I wish he were here to prove it. Duango's men never make any trouble. There must be some wandering hunters from another tribe. You'll have to excuse me for staring at you, but it's quite a shock to see anyone like you way out here in this jungle. Oh, I'm not far from home. I live in Luango Village. I get it, that bag. Your lady doctor. Well, not quite. But my father was a medical missionary in this district. And since he died last year, I've stayed on to see what I could do for the natives. I'm Carol Bryant. You must be the two men from the Amaranium Company. Well, I'm Alan King. This is Bert Hadley. How do you do? Chief Duangus expecting you. He's getting Father's old bungalow ready for you. Oh, we'll sure be glad to see him. The trail's just over here. Good. I cannot understand who would have killed my messenger or who attacked you, but I'm sure it was none of my people. Maybe somebody was trying to get the mining concession away from us. I doubt it. Representatives of several countries have tried to get the concession from me, but I'd always planned to give it to an American company. Well, that's a break for us. Yes, and it's also a great opportunity for my people. Naganto, have you any idea who these bad men are? My people see strange tracks in the jungle. Maybe bad hunters from other tribes. Well, that's the only explanation I can give. I'm sorry, gentlemen, that you had such a rude reception to my country. Well, it's over now. Yes. Oh, my people have prepared Dr. Bryant's hut for you. I'm sure you will be more comfortable there than in my village. Well, that's very kind of you. Thanks, Chief. Nikki, how many times have I told you to stay out of this house? She seems friendly enough. She is, but she can get into all kinds of mischief.
This is a lot better bunkhouse than I ever expected to find in Africa. This used to be our home and office when Father was alive. But I live in the village now. And Chief certainly gave us a hearty welcome. But that witch doctor, Nagato, he didn't seem too glad to see us. Nagato's not easy to get along with. He's always resented the natives coming to Father and me for treatment instead of paying him for his witch doctor cures. Well, does he have much influence over the tribe? Not now. There's still a few fanatics who believe in him. But he's next in line to be chief. And if he ever gets that position, he might make trouble. Well, see you in the morning. Bye. So long. You know, I don't think I'm going to like this Nagano. What do you want, Nagano? Woman doctor say white men good. My warriors no fight them anymore. Well, how come they're so scared of a woman? They think she make big medicine magic. Bigger than my voodoo. That's a tough break. This is too bad. There's a lot of uranium in this district. And my country needs it a lot more than the United States does. And we're willing to uh, pay a good deal to the people who help us to get it. OK. But how do we go about it? Well, we'll have to get rid of the Americans without arousing suspicion. You go back to the village and pretend to be friendly to those white men. But keep telling me all they do. Come in. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Is everything all right? It's just fine, thanks. Everything's perfect. Now I suppose you want to see the country. Well, we were just talking about that. We really can't do much of anything until we get the truck out here with our instruments and supplies. Maybe two or three days before Regis picks us up. Is there any other way we can get back to town? Yes. Kurgan's trading post is only a couple of miles from here. He has a Jeep, and I'm sure he'd let you use it. Well, that'll be fine. Thanks. Hey, this is Regis's Jeep. It sure is. How do you suppose he got here so fast? We'll find out. Hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, this is a private fight. Kurgan, I own this post. Well, I'm Alan King. This fellow tried to lose us in the jungle yesterday. Is he one of your men? Uh, of course not. He's just a shoestring trader and a guide. What's he doing there? Uh, why, he just dropped in and said he wanted to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I've told you before that I didn't want you around here. Now get out! I'm sorry this had to happen on my property, Mr. King. Anything I can do for you? Why, yes, there is. Well, I'll be glad to drive you into town. I can leave in about an hour. Well, fine. That'll give us time to get back to the village and tell Miss Bryant we're leaving. Well, I'll be ready when you get back. Thanks. Good afternoon. Think you can do anything about them on the way in? No, that'd be too risky. Time to get them would be when they're coming back alone in the truck over the jungle road. You find Regis. Give him a dozen sticks of dynamite and... to have a detonator for this job. It's going to be hard to time that fuse just right.
Take her. Look at that. I wonder what they're stopping for. Stop arrows. No good. Yeah. Take this and keep them busy. I'll fix that. <laughs> Sounds like only one man with a gun. And he's a rotten shot. He's still good enough to keep us pinned down. Here. Do better than that to hurt us. Further this time. You're right. We'll give him a big one this time. Bend that tree down.
saw them at all, but at least one of them must have been a white man. Maybe Regis. That's possible. He's been mixed up in several shady deals before. But I can't understand what natives would dare attack you. Now, that's what seems to be worrying the chief, too. Well, naturally, he's afraid his people might be blamed for it. That's why he went out right away to find Nagato. You mean he thinks the witch doctor might be mixed up in it? No, but Nagato usually knows everything that goes on around here. The chief said he'd bring him over here. Hey, here they come now. Did you find out anything, Chief Duanga? No, Naganto was in his medicine hut all day. Well, someone was sure after our scalps. Yes, bad, very bad. Next time you go on truck, my warriors go with you, help fight. We won't be using the truck again for a while, Nagano. Miss Bryan has taken us up the jungle trail to Imbu Gorge tomorrow. Then my warriors make scout. Make sure no strangers near. I go tell them. We'll be glad to get his help. But Nagano hasn't seemed too friendly towards us. Nagato is jealous. He has always resented the tribe's respect for Miss Bryan's medical work. Since, of course, it cuts down on his prestige as witch doctor. But I'm sure that he is as interested as I am in the welfare of our people. And he knows how much the success of your work here means to them. Well? They go jungle trail to Gorge tomorrow. Well, that's fine. Yeah, there are many places on that trail where we can uh, ambush them. No, white woman doctor go with them. How many times have I told you that you don't have to be afraid of her? Just because her medicine has cured more people than your voodoo mumbo jumbo doesn't mean that she's magic. Many warriors think her magic very strong. Only a few think mine's strong now. All right, then help us get rid of her and those Americans. And they'll know that your magic is strong. Maybe someday you'll even be chief. Think of it. The people of my country are working the uranium mines on your land. They'll pay you lots of money, enough to buy many weapons. You promise? Of course. I try. Good, good. You want uh, Goss and Regis to help you? Mm, better they stay here. If you're going to have too much to carry, I'll get one of the natives to help you. Oh, no, thanks. All we'll need is this Geiger counter and some tools to take a few samples. My father always thought there was uranium in those mountains on the other side of the gorge. Well, I hope he was right. With this race for atomic development going on, the United States needs all the uranium it can get. Now, from the way we've been sniped at, it looks like someone wants to stop us from corralling that supply. I sure hope Nagano's men did a good job of scouting that trail last night. Well, he said they did, and there were no strange natives around. Anyway, we'll keep our eyes open. Now, uh, Bert, you got everything we need? It looks like it. Let's go.
What's this all about? The warthog must have young ones around here. She wants to protect them from the hyena. Something frightened those birds. Could have been an animal, but it might be men. We'd better keep our eyes open. about to step on that trap line. I'm sorry I was so rough. Thanks. Good thing you were. Well, wasn't that nice? Someone knew we were coming along this trail. Sure. The Gonto. I don't think it was him. But a scout's moving through here could have warned whoever set that trap that we'd be along this way. I want to keep bargains. Be tuna. Let teach you. Um gala or country. Think we ought to go back? Take cover! It doesn't look like we're going back. Now we could use some of Nagano's men. That is, if these birds aren't Nagano's men. We wouldn't dare do a thing like this. Get to the gorge, we can stop them there. You go on, we'll follow. Roger. the Gala, Unja, Neva.
torch is just ahead. Come on. You go across first. We'll hold them. All right. Cross first. We'll hold them. All right. Woman doctor's magic too big. I tell you, she's no magician. I don't know how she got out of that gorge, but it wasn't magic. All warriors think so. No, follow me now. Well, maybe we can do something about that. This voodoo that you work, suppose you told your people that the devil beast would get them if they didn't get rid of the white man and the woman doctor. No good. My magic not big enough to bring devil beast. Well, mine is. Only I call it money. Regis. You know that Chinese animal dealer down the river? Sure, I know him. Well, he just shipped a tiger in from India. We're going to buy it. We'll bring it back here and turn it loose. The natives have never seen one. They'll be properly impressed, especially if he kills a couple of them. Yeah, it might work. Good. I'll go to town and make all the arrangements. You start telling your people that your magic told you to warn them of the devil beast. If white man no go, devil beast kill many people. Just where did this devil beast come from? Voodoo tell me jungle god send it. They are angry because white man come and dig in lands of tribe. Me help white man before. Not now. Many people get killed. Much trouble. This likely to be serious, Chief? Voodoo has caused trouble among my people for centuries. 
But I doubt now if even Nagato himself believes in it anymore. How about the rest of the tribe? A few years ago, they would have believed him. But now practically none of them take any stock in his hocus pocus. But still, it wouldn't take much to make a lot of them go back to him. If any of our people should be killed by an animal, it might make trouble. Kazese! 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 What's wrong, Chief? One of my men was killed by a strange animal. Did anyone see it? Yes, they described it as looking like a big leopard with stripes. Sounds like a tiger. A tiger in Africa? There never have been any here. So when Nagato tells my people that this is the devil beast he predicted, they're inclined to believe it. You no, know, it could be somebody bribed Nagano to spread that story and then brought in the tiger to back it up. Anyway, the first thing to do is to hunt down that tiger. And Carol, can you get us some native trackers? Timba, Simba. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure I can persuade them to fix up that lion pit trap. We might catch him in that. Fair enough. While you're doing that, Bert and I will try our luck with the rifles. Sounded like something over there. I missed him. Yeah, we'll have a tough time following him without a tracker. He's gone in the general direction of the pit. Carol's there with the natives. You follow the tiger. I'll take the direction towards the pit and make sure they're ready for him. Go ahead. That'll do. Now go to the village and get some meat for bait. How's it going? Everything's ready except for setting up a stick to put the bait on. Good. The tiger's headed this way, so we'd better be ready. take him alive, and when they see him in a cage, they'll forget about this devil beast business. Good. Let's get them started. People very angry. Make much trouble for white man soon. Adonto, why are you trying to frighten our people? Devil beast loose. Voodoo say white That's man. That's enough. I'll not have you trying to turn the tribe against my friends with that silly talk about voodoo and devil beast. Now go! I'm sorry this happened, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. Uh, 
Well, Magana, what do you want? Devil beasts loose. Kill more people. You go away, then devil beasts go away. Your chief has asked me to stay. No, you go now. now you get out of here. on me. What should we do with him? If the chief hears about this, he'll be banished from the tribe. The natives might resent it and make trouble, since that tiger's still on the loose. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Legato, if you ever try a stunt like that again, you won't get off so easy. Now get out of here. Alan, the tiger trap is out. Someone wrecked the whole setup. Yeah, we'll have to try hunting him down. I'll go with you. All right, Carol. I think we'll have a good chance of finding the tiger in that heavy jungle between the pit and the gorge trail. Let's go. The bula. I don't see any tracks here, but it might be somewhere in that patch of jungle ahead. We better split up and cover as much ground as we can. That sounds reasonable. Let's go.
Well, I don't think we'll have any more trouble with the natives now. And are you in good? White woman doctor killed double beast. Her magic much big. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying. They insist on thinking I can work magic. Well, anyway, I like your magic much better than Nagano's. You know, I still think someone in town is putting Nagano up to all this. I'm beginning to think you're right. Someone wants to drive you out of here before you can develop the uranium mines. When they can manage to import a man-eating tiger in the middle of Africa, they must have a pretty good organization. But the natives are on our side now. So I don't think we'll have any more trouble. I hope not, unless they get stirred up again. fellow sneaked in and tried to carve us up. He acted like he was crazy. He's in a hypnotic trance, induced by drinking the juice of a native herb. I'll give him a sedative. He'll be all right when he wakes up. Watch him till I get back. I give him Buddha drink, he go crazy, he try kill white men, then white woman doctor give him medicine. He no crazy now. He say white woman make him well. He follow her now. My damn, she crosses us up every time. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to do something about her. You'd like to get back your power as the real witch doctor of the tribe again, wouldn't you? Well, you'll have to get rid of the white woman first. Her magic! Oh, quit talking about her magic! Nagando. You could get men to do almost anything for these, couldn't you? 
knife costs much ivory. Of course they do. Much more than the average tribesman can afford. You can take these. You can give them to the men that you pick. If they'll promise to do exactly as I tell them. Hello, Chief Duwanga. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I put some fruit in your hut for you. Well, thank you. Where's Carol? We received a drum message this morning asking her to come look after a sick child. She hasn't returned yet. How far did she have to go? Only a short distance. Come to think of it, she should have been back hours ago. But, oh, I'm sure she's all right. Just the same, I think we'd better go look for her. That's a good idea. I'll get a man to guide you. Good. After we get rid of these tools, we'll meet you at your village. Right. Well, what are you doing here? Nikki, go back. We can't leave her here. The leopards will get her. All right, we'll take her along. medicine bad, very bad. Never mind that now. Something has happened to Miss Bryant. You've got to find tracks. No, don't do say go back. The past die quick. Nothing is going to hurt you. We're here with you, but you've got to help us find Miss Bryant. No, go back, please. Well, that's that. We'll have to go on by ourselves. sign of a trail and I don't see any tracks. All right, get down. To Say, do you suppose she's trying to lead us to Carol? It could be. As good chance as any. Go on, Nikki. Find Carol. must be crazy. No one ever came through this stuff. She seems to know where she's going. Come on. Drum. We're going in the right direction, all right.
fine girl you turned out to be. Here, I'll let you in the house and try to be nice to you. Look how you pay me back. Now, Sam, get your face washed. Now, is that any way to treat the little hero who saved my life? She may be a hero. That doesn't mean she has to try to eat my last tube of shaving cream. She probably saw you put it on your face and thought it was good to eat. Well, uh, she knows better now. Where's Alan? He's over here with the chief. I just caught Bert abusing poor little Nikki. Now, I won't hurt her to play in the jungle a little while. She'll have plenty of company. I noticed several of her wild cousins around. Well, I hope she doesn't invite them into the house. I don't think you need worry about my people anymore. Since Naganto failed to kill Miss Bryant, I'm sure they'll feel that her magic or yours is much stronger than his. That's right. I bet he won't dare to try his voodoo around here again. You think your people will be willing to help us now? I'm sure they will. Now that Naganto has been shown these real life, they'll have nothing more to do with him. Well, then we can start to work building that road. <laughs> Uranium samples we took from that abandoned gold mine look very good. Oh. Now we want to get the truck up there with enough explosives and tools to do some bulk sampling. Mm, good. When do you wish to start? First, we want to get some timber to build bridges. We can do that as soon as your men are ready. All right. I'll drive over to the village with you. My men will be ready. Bye, Carol. <laughs> let you in the village again. Now, I'll cover up for you this time, but don't let it happen again. Well, we're all set for an early morning start. It's going to get cleaned up. to you? But nothing. I I was just cleaning your room a little. A little? You look like you've been cleaning out a coal mine. You couldn't have been that dirty. Well, you would be surprised. Tell me white men go in truck to build road tomorrow morning. In the morning, eh? Where's that truck now? In clearing by a white man's hut. That gives us our chance. I'll give you some dynamite and caps. Then you and Nagato here. Eh?
got a lot of nerve showing up around here again. <laughs> Scram. Yeah, Duanga's men should be here by now. Let's go get them. They're probably still in the village. Okay. Now hold it, Bert. Here comes Carol. Maybe the men are behind her. Hello, Carol. Where are the natives? I walked along the trail, but the chief's men cut through the jungle. They'll be here any minute. Good. Of course, native help isn't as fast as heavy equipment. But we'll get the road built in short order. Under the seat, somebody tried to booby trap us. Nicky saved us again. Yes, but the charge that did go off really wrecked the engine. How bad is it? We can't tell, Carol. We look it over. Hey, Kirk. Here comes King. Get out of sight. Hello, Kirk. Oh, hello, King. What can I do for you? I'll need some parts for the truck. It was wrecked. Well, how did you do that? I didn't. It was booby-trapped. Lucky we all weren't killed. Oh, well, who could have done it? Certainly not a native. But that's all I can tell so far. Well, I'm going into town later. I'll be only too glad to get you your parts. Well, Kurgan, that'll be fine. Now, here's the list. While you're gone, I've got some work I can do. All right. I'll be back sometime tonight. Thanks. Sure. To sense he suspects me now, and maybe you too. We've got to get rid of him. Yes, but it's too late to risk anything. It doesn't look like a natural accident. What's around that village that we could use? Well, there's an old lion pit trap near there. That'll do it. Yeah. You and Nagato bait that trap, and when you catch a lion. <laughs> Got a lion. We're all set now. Let's get it covered up. Hey, there's Regus.
village natives set this trap? I don't think so. I'd have known about it if they had. Our pal Regas led us right to it. Looks like another one of his schemes to put us out of business. O'Kara, will you ask the natives to take care of this line? Let me get my gun. I'll take care of him. Now hold it, Bert. We'd better get back to work on the truck. Yeah, you're right. See you later. Well, I guess we've got everything we need. The ore in the mine should be easy to get at. Yes. There are several tunnels with exposed veins of ore in there. But I don't know whether any of them are uranium-bearing or not. The sample you gave me certainly registered high on the Geiger counters. Of course, we won't know until we dig out enough for a bulk assay. Well, I certainly hope this proves out. Say, Alan, you run short of fuse if you're going to do much blasting. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe we can get some at the trading post. I'm sure you can. Kurgan carries all kinds of mining supplies. Good. We'll pick it up on our way. Good luck. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. So you got your truck fixed? Yes, thanks to the parts you got for us. Oh, we're going to blast out some more samples. I'll need a coil of fuse. Sure. Give me a call the fuse. Well, do you find anything that looks good? Can't tell yet. Well, if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks. You suppose he's found something? He wouldn't be blasting if he didn't think so. We'll have to find out where they made their strike and then finish them off. It would be easy to trail the truck. You tell Regis to take his Jeep and... Someone else wants to get in on the game. They really mean business. Yes, and the rest of the animals don't want any part of it. Looks like a happy ending. Somebody was working here not too long ago. Yeah. The original mine was dug by natives centuries ago. Several parties of white men have worked it over in the last few years. Did they do any good? Not much. Apparently, all the veins of gold have been pretty well worked out. What's that noise I hear? Sounds like wind. It is. Come on, I'll show you.
sounds like a hurricane. It almost did. Throw something out there. It's really something. How does it work? There's a big natural cavern above here near the top of the mountain. It's full of cold air which pours out when this door is open. Well, who built the door? Nobody knows. Probably the natives put it in years ago to cut off the wind so they could work in the tunnels. That's quite a deal, all right. Say, so, hey, we better get back to work. Come on. This looks like a good place to put it in a shot.
I'm all right. How about Bert? I don't know. We'd better get back there quick. samples, and then we'll be on our way. Well, at least Nagano got rid of the girl. <laughs> That'll make you happy. No more white woman doctor. Warriors believe my medicine now. They do like I say. Yes, and it'll make it easier for you to handle the Americans. When you're medicine man again, you won't have any trouble with the old chief. So you got rid of her. Magic. Her medicine too strong. Oh, your usual excuse. Well, we're really in trouble now. They'll certainly report both of you to the police. Yeah, and they got their ore samples too. I can't see how I can stop them from notifying the police. But maybe we can do something about those ore samples tonight. Well, I don't know how we're going about it. They keep the truck parked right by King's shack. You should still be able to steal those samples and replace it with worthless rock. If they think that they haven't found any uranium after all this trouble, they might just get discouraged enough to give up that ore concession. So tonight, you and Naganto Nicky wants to come in again. So it's you. Well, be on your way. We don't want any. Somebody's after the truck. out for the other one.
You all right? Yeah. That was Regas I was after. Did you recognize the other one? Not for sure, but it could have been Nagano. I wonder what they were doing at the truck. Probably tried to booby trap it again. Let's go back and see. Well, I don't see anything wrong. We must have spotted them too soon. Yeah, it looks that way. I will take these ore samples into town in the morning. Right. According to those assay reports, all we brought in was a bunch of rocks. I can't figure it out. That ore sure looked hot enough. It was hot. The Geiger counter reacted to it plenty. That's right. That assayer must be crazy, or else he got our samples mixed up with somebody else's. Well, they could have been mixed up before we brought them into town. What do you mean? The two at the truck last night could have traded samples with us. Say, I'll bet that was it. I think so. That means the ore from that mine must be good. We'll go back and get some samples. And then we'll get the police to go along with us to help us make a stand against Regas and his men. Good. say police come to help them at mine. Well, that's that. If the police are coming in here, I'm getting out. You think it makes sense to quit the job now, just before the big payoff? Well, when's that going to be? Just as soon as we get the uranium concession for my country, which will be as soon as we get rid of the Americans. Oh, we've been trying that for quite a while. And we're going to keep right on trying until we succeed. You're in this so deep now, you might just as well stay with us. All right. What are we going to try this time? They're going back to the mine for some more ore samples. All you have to do is plant a blast in the tunnel. Set it off as they start to enter. How do you know they'll go in the tunnel? They'll go in the tunnel. The gun on his men will see to that. If you time the explosion right, you'll get all of them. And it'll look like an accident. You can get what dynamite you need at the powder house. Here. Here's some fuse. All right. I'll try just once more, and that's it. You gave him quick burning fuse. He'll blow himself up, too. So what? Uh... He was beginning to lose his nerve anyway.
walked right into a trap. We sure did, but it's sprung now, so let's keep after him. It's a good thing we weren't here when that went off. We must be back there somewhere. Is there any other way out? There's a cross tunnel that leads to a natural exit on the other side of the mountain. You two search the rest of the tunnels. We'll look around outside. Right. Send you in to find out. That blast went off too soon. It missed them and almost got me. Must have been a defective fuse. What happened to Nagano and his men? Well, I don't know. The Americans were driving them into that dead end canyon on the west side when I left. Probably got him trapped by now. We'll have to break that up. Nagata's our only chance for getting that uranium concession. Think just the two of us can handle him? We can't risk a fight. I'll go out there alone and talk Nagato into surrendering. And I'll have to figure some way to get him off. We can't wait any longer. It'll be dark in an hour, and they might sneak out past us. I'm afraid you're right. All right, Bert, let's give them some blasts before we rush them. How'd you get here? Why, we had a drum message saying there was a fight. I thought I might be able to stop the trouble. The only way you can do that is to make them surrender. I think I can. I've known Nagato for a long time. He'll listen to me. Nagato! It's Kurgan! I'm coming in to talk! You'll have to surrender. You're trapped. What they do to us? You'll be all right if you do exactly as I say. Now, wait here. We'll be right back. Any luck? Yes. He says they'll surrender if you'll take him to the chief instead of turning him over to the police. Carol, is that the usual thing to do? That's right. The chief has the authority to punish and judge any minor criminals. After all, they haven't killed anyone. Well, they sure tried hard enough. I know, but I'm certain that the chief can handle them. It's the only possible way that you can settle this without any bloodshed. Yes. And any unnecessary killing might make it impossible for you to work your mining concession. Well, that could happen. All right, Kurgan. We'll go along with that. Good. I'll go get them. We'll haul them to the hut. 
Kurgan can meet us there with the chief. White man Rigas make bad medicine. Tell me it'd be good for tribe to kill Americans. Now I know his magic no good. I obey chief now. Work for Americans. All right, Naganto. But remember, if you ever use your voodoo for evil purposes again, I'll banish you from the tribe. I never make trouble again. Very well. You may go. I think everything will be all right now. I hope so. Thanks, Mr. Kurgan. Good night. Good night. I don't care what the chief says. I still think we ought to turn him over to the police. And don't forget, Bert, we've got to get along with the chief. He's the one that gave us our concession, and he can cancel it out any time he wants to. I think everything will be all right now. Nagato hasn't the nerve nor the intelligence to do anything on his own. So we might as well get some more work lined up. Of course, we can't do anything more in the mine till we get it timbered. But we can sample those ore deposits along the river. Carol, can you get us a canoe? Anytime you want it. Uh, tomorrow will do fine. If we can locate some more uranium deposits there, we'll have enough lined up to start development work. I'll have the canoe ready. Well, good night. Good night. Can I see you back to the village, Carol? No, thanks. The chief will have a warrior at the edge of the clearing to see me back. Good night. Good night. They won't attack, but they might upset us accidentally. Better slow down. Hope they I'm glad we're out of there. Here we are, a foot and a long way from home. Yes, and on the wrong side of the river. There's a fort up the river a few miles. I can cross to the village and send a canoe back to pick you up. Yeah, we can walk too, Carol. I know, but I can make it faster alone. There's no use all of us going. Get her easy from here. No, no, no. Boss, they must be like accident. All right. Now well, we're going to rig up an accident now. She's going back to the village. She crossed river at Ford. My men there. They fix. Good. Matter. Drums tell bad men set trap for white woman doctor at Ford. At the Ford? Yes. Can you guide us there? Yes.
not know. Maybe bad man from other tribe try to kill white woman doctor. All right, that's all. He doesn't know. I'll bet all the bananas in Africa he rigged up the whole deal. I'm afraid you may be right. But I always make it a point to trust my people and to believe in them. So in spite of Naganto's past record, I hesitate to take action against him until I've been presented with the actual evidence. We can watch every move he makes until he does do something. Oh, that sounds easy, but it might take weeks. We've got to get busy if we're going to find enough uranium to establish a concession the chief has given us. So we'll split up the job. That ledge of ore in the hills is the next thing we've got to work on. Now you take some of the chief's men, set up camp there, and start digging. Carol and I'll keep our eye on Naganto. Okay by me. Come on, Carol. That's his voodoo hut where he goes to make medicine. We can't get much closer without being seen. No, but we better wait and see what he does. Looks like this trail's been used the most. If he comes any closer, I'll have to shoot. Shot scared him off. Probably scared Nagato off, too. But we might as well keep going. If he'd gone this way, his tracks would show in that soft dirt. He must have taken another trail. We might as well go back. I'd like to take a look at that voodoo hut. All right. Can't be much in there. He wouldn't keep it wide open like this. It's safe enough. No native would dare come near it. Something's written on it. I can make out one word. Noon. What could that mean? It could mean that the gunner was still working with some white men. Probably on another plan to get rid of us. Even so, that's hardly enough evidence to have him arrested. And you're right. We'll still have to keep on trailing him. If we can. Maybe we can figure out a way to do that, too. Well, 
you find him? No, I didn't. But I left a note for him in his voodoo hut. You sure you can read it? Sure. I told him to meet me at the trail forts tomorrow noon. OK. There's some dynamite for him. I thought we was going to lay off of that rough stuff. There'll be nothing rough about this. It'll be the perfect accident. You see this dynamite? It's almost pure nitroglycerin. Several times stronger than the stuff that they're using. They're going to get quite a surprise when they set that off. Well, how do we get it to them? Easy. The guy don't knows where they're working. All he's got to do is sneak into their camp tomorrow night and mix this right in with some of the dynamite they're using. Yeah, I see what you mean. Here he comes now. Watch it. Legato. Good morning. I have a present for you. What? A medicine stone. You carry this in your pouch. It'll bring you good luck. Sure it does. I built this indicator up out of a Geiger counter. There's enough uranium in that piece of ore I gave Nagano to register for quite a distance. Shall we go now? Might as well. We can stay quite a way behind them. This way. Well, you got my note all right. Me good. What's your want? to split up.
Them again. But at least we know Nagano's back working with Regis. The way Kurgan stood up for that witch doctor, looks like he's in on it too. Do you really think so? What can we do about it? Let's go to camp and talk it over with Bert. All right. Now that they've seen you with Nagano again, they probably suspect me too. We'll have to wipe them out before they get to the police. But I don't even know where they are. Nagano can tell you. The spies are watching them all the time. Have him get all the men that he can to help you. Promise them anything, guns, liquor, anything. But be sure that you finish the job this time. Get going. Now. I still can't believe that Mr. Kurgan is mixed up in all this. He's always been considered a legitimate traitor. Well, that may be true, Carol. Let's review some of the things that have happened to us since we arrived here in Africa. The day Regis tried to lose us in the jungle, we went to Kurgan's trading post. And... Hey, this is Regis's Jeep. It sure is. How do you suppose he got here so fast? We'll find out. Hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, this is a private fight. King. This fella tried to lose us in the jungle yesterday. Is he one of your men? Oh, of course not. He's just a shoestring trader and a guide. What's he doing there? Uh, why, he just dropped in and said he wanted to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I've told you before that I didn't want you around here. Now get out! Well, I'm sorry this had to happen on my property, Mr. King. Anything I can do for you? Why, yes, there is. Well, I'll be glad to drive you into town. I can leave in about an hour. Well, fine. That'll give us time to get back to the village and tell Miss Bryant we're leaving. I'll be ready when you get back. Thanks. Good afternoon. Kurgan's story about Regis sounded all right at the time. He knew we'd be coming out in the truck the next day. So he had plenty of time to set a trap for us. That's good enough. Send one of the men down to the bend to watch for the truck. Onangimote Oradia. Kishwana. Detonator for this job. It's going to be hard to time that fuse just right.
Hey, Bert. Look at that. I wonder what they're stopping for. Outside. Stop arrows. No good. Yeah. Take this and keep them busy. I'll fix that. Sounds like only one man with a gun. And he's a rotten shot. He's still good enough to keep us pinned down. Here. Do better than that to hurt us. Butter this time. Give him a big one this time. Bend that tree down. Be on our way. I'll admit it looks like Kurgan might have something to do with it, but we still don't have enough evidence to have him arrested. No, not yet. But we may be able to dig up something. Let's check over those supplies we got from him.
still in that tent. Let's burn her out. <laughs> Dr. Vernon Tent. We go now. Hey, they're leaving. Get the tents on fire. Keep your eye on them. I've got to get back to Kurgan's trading post. Make sure they don't trail me. Me fix. They no follow. Base of Ladonga, Nuevo. Come. Why don't we report Regis to the police? They'll run him down and maybe he'll talk enough to implicate Kurgan. Yeah, maybe. We can't count on it. If we could just catch Regis reporting to Kurgan, we'd have the goods on him for sure. He might not go back there this time. But why don't you two go to the trading post and watch it? I'll trail him in case he doesn't go there. That's a good idea, Carol, but... I hate to have you chasing that bunch alone. I've been getting along quite a few years in the jungle alone. I could trail him much better than you could without being seen. There's no doubt about that. Go ahead. Right. We cross. There. I guess it'll be all right. We loose this in.
truck here. Right. Hey, his Jeep's gone. Well, this might be a good chance to do a little checking up. What do you mean? Well, if Kurgan's really in on the deal, he might have some letters and papers around that might incriminate him. Well, he wouldn't leave anything like that lying around. Yeah, he might have to, Bert. If he's trying to get a mining concession for another company, there's bound to be some contracts or some legal papers around. It's worth a try anyhow. I do for you. You've come to look through Kurgan's papers. Like to help us? Why? I can't let you do that. I'm afraid you can. Bert, find some rope and we'll tie him up. Turn around. Nothing here but bills and invoices. Hey, the drawer's locked. Maybe we can find a key. I suspected you two for a long time, and I've caught you red-handed. Well, I'll admit this looks bad, Kurgan. You'd better listen to our story before you do anything rash. Yes? Well, first, I think I'd better get those guns before you do anything rash. Speak your piece, and it better be good. I'd be perfectly justified in shooting you both down for burglars. You know your friend Nagano has been trying to kill us again? He's no friend of mine, and what he does is none of my business. But when I catch somebody trying to break into my desk, it's my business. What do you expect to find in there, anyway? We were looking for some evidence against Regis and Nagano. And you expected to find it in there? Oh, now I understand. You believe I'm working with them made you think that? We know someone has been trying to kill us off so they can get our uranium mining concession. Naturally, we suspect anyone who's been friendly with Regis and Nagano. I see. Well, uh, what do you intend doing about it? We're going to turn the whole matter over to the police. Let them handle it. Well, I think I'd rather talk to the police and tell them how I had to shoot a couple of burglars. <laughs>
truck and run into the river. Then find the gondo and bring him to the voodoo hut. I'll meet you there. All right. Well, we certainly have all the evidence we need against Kurgan now. We sure have. Now to get to town and tell the police our whole story. We'll pick you up later. Well, that's that. How long will it take us to walk back to town? Well, too long. We'd better ask the chief to send a message back with a native runner. How about Goss? I will send some natives to take care of him. Even if the chief sends his fastest runner with the message, it'll still be sometime tomorrow before the police can get out here. Yes, I know, Carol, but it's the best thing we can do. We may have trouble before then. Kurgan certainly knows he has to strike now or never. Chief, I think we've got a better chance of holding them off here than at the village. Yes, it will be better. I'm sure most of my people are loyal, but they won't fight well when their women and children are in danger. Then I suggest you get some of your people over here armed and ready. While you're doing that, I'll write a note to the police. Right. The chips are really down now. We'll have to wipe out the Americans, the girl, and the old chief before the police get here. We kill chief too? Yes, he knows too much about us now. He'll have to go. You'll become chief in place of him. How many of your men can you get to help us? Only a few. A few with rifles will be enough. I don't like any part of it, Kurgan. Arm and natives with rifles to fight white men is pretty serious business. Africa won't be big enough to hold you when they hear about it. Nobody needs to hear about it. We've got to wipe out the Americans, the girl, and the old chief anyway. Then the Gondo will be chief. And the natives will tell any story that he orders them to. Isn't that right? We give men guns, they do what I say. And we're all set. You round up all the men that you can get and have them here in the morning. I'll have the rifles ready. Mpesa Medeo, Hakbana. Mpesa Mohura. Una da Mohapo. Wamba. The scout says Naganto is coming with two white men and a number of natives. They all have rifles. The natives, too? I can't understand who would have armed them, but I can understand how the chance to get arms would tempt them to revolt. How long before the police can get here? They should come sometime today. Yeah, but there's no telling when. We'll have to fight our own battle. It looks like they're expecting us. Uh, that's still all right. We've got more rifles than they have. Tell them to spread out. Mbazi, Le Condoro. Chief, you take your men under cover. Use these boxes. Right. Carol, you get inside the shack. Cover that wall through the back window. Right. Pacey, Pacey!
covered. I'm going in after him. a good shield. Open that door. Don't shoot. You might hit Carol. possibly shoot now. No. There's no other boat. Oh, no, you don't. Don't just stand there swim as is quick as that. He's right. I'm stuck. Well, nevertheless, you're staying with us. We're stuck in the quicksand. Get a vine. Tour. Swim. I'll be all right as long as I keep my feet off the bottom. for exposing Kurgan. We found enough evidence among his papers to prove his guilt. He sure made enough trouble for us. Yes. He was trying to run you off so he could get the uranium mining concession for his own country. We're very happy to know there'll be no more fighting. 
only peace and quiet. <laughs> Here's the guilty party. <laughs> 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 <laughs>